Hi everyone. The last lesson we have already discussed about the second application of dimensional analysis. Today in this lesson we will be dealing with the third application to convert a physical quantity from one system of unit to another. So just before doing that one, let's remember this sentence here. The value of a physical quantity is the same in all system. So what is the meaning of this one? The value of physical quantity is the same in all system. Example, one kilogram, I can write here thousand gram. That means this value is both sides are equal. Value in the sense means what? A numerical value and the unit. Here also a numerical value and its unit. It is in gram, here it is in it is in gram and here it is in kilogram. So you can write this formula as N1 is the numerical value in the first one into U1, the unit is in kilogram, which is equal to N2 into U2. So what is N1? 1. What is N2? 1000. What is a U1? Kilogram. What is a U2 here? Gram. So always you remember here a physical quantity can be represented as Q is equal to NU. N is the numerical value and U is the unit. Now let's think about Let M1, L1 and T1 be the size of fundamental units of mass, length and time in one system. Maybe we can say here M2, L2 and T2 be the corresponding units in another system. So if you are writing the dimensional formula of the quantity, we can write here the unit u1, what we are representing u1, right? So u1 can be written as m1 to the power a, l1 to the power b and t1 to the power c. Same way, in another unit is u2, right? u2, you can write it as m2 to the power a that is another system of unit l2 to the power b and t2 to the power c so if you write the formula here we can write here n1 that is a numerical value in one system of unit what is a u1 here we can write in a square bracket because we are writing in dimension m1 to the power a l1 to the power b t1 to the power c square bracket close is equal to n2 into what is a u2 the unit in another system mass we are representing m2 to the power a length we are representing l2 to the power b in another system and t2 is the time we are representing another system t2 to the power c now the question maybe you can calculate here what is the numerical value n2 in a new system. So we can write the formula as here n2 is equal to just see so this one n2 is equal to n1 into you can write like this m1 to the power a l1 to the power b t1 to the power c all divided by in square bracket you take this to left hand side m2 to the power a L2 to the power B and T2 to the power C. So we can write the formula as N2 is equal to N1 into, you see this one M1 and M2, the power is the same, right? So we can write here M1 divided by M2 to the power A. Here what is M1? The unit of mass in one system and m2 is a unit of mass in another system so we are writing the dimension same way you can write here l1 divided by l2 
to the power b and t1 to the power t2 and t1 divided by t2 to the power c so this is the general formula we are using to convert one system of unit into another system of unit so without this equation also you can convert very easily so this is, we are discussing only because this is a part of dimensional analysis clear so now let's discuss one of the example as convert one joule into erg 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 so as we already know joule is the si unit and erg or erg erg is the cgs unit in si unit if you write the derived formula or derived unit we can write the kilogram meter square s to the power minus 2 all right but if you write in cgs unit kilogram become what gram meter become what centimeter or sorry centimeter square time same unit only so s to the power minus 2 so unit has changed so definitely what also will change the magnitude also will change so i can write here 1 joule is equal to dash erg so si unit we are going to convert into cgs unit cgs unit erg means what gram cm square s to the power minus 2 joule means what kilogram meter square s to the power minus 2 minus 2 so what is the dimensional formula of joule so i can write here m l square t to the power minus 2 so first unit it's already know that one so we can write here if you compare it with the m to the power a l to the power b and t to the power c we can write here a is equal to 1 b is equal to 2 and c is equal to minus 2 so we are comparing it to the what m to the power a l to the power b t to the power c or m1 to the power a l1 to the power b and t1 to the power c so a 1 b 2 and t sorry c minus 2 now what you have to do here use the formula what is the formula here n2 is equal to right n1 into m1 to the divided by m2 to the power a l1 by l2 divided L1 by L2 to the power B, T1 by T2 to the power C. So A, B, C is only no A1, B2, C minus 2. Now what is M1 here? In the first system of unit, mass we are representing kilogram, right? So we can write here N2 is equal to, now what is N1? Here this N1 is what? 1. So 1 into m1 in first unit mass is kilogram right so i can write here 1 kilogram divided by what is m2 m2 is in which unit gram so here i can write here gram all to the power a a is equal to what 1 next one length what is in first unit length meters right so meter 1 meter divided by in another system of unit which we are going to convert it is in centimeter so 1 centimeter to the power b what is b 2 same way t1 that second only so 1 second divided by 1 second all to the power minus 2 now therefore n2 is equal to 1 into here see numerator kilogram denominator gram we are going to convert into gram right so we can write the numerator as 1 kilogram is equal to what 1000 gram so we can write the 10 to the power 3 gram divided by gram all to the power 1 now numerator is in meter denominator we should convert into centimeter so we can write here 10 to the power 2 centimeter divided by which should be converted here centimeter all to the power 2 and time 
same only 1 second divided by 1 second to the power minus 2. So, n2 is equal to 1 into you can write here 10 to the power 3 all to the power 1 and next one 10 to the power 2 all to the power 2 and last one 1 all to the power minus 2. So, what is the answer here? n2 is equal to here 10 to the power 3, 3 into 1 it should be multiplied with the power right. So, we can write the 10 to the power 3. So, 3 into 1. Next one 10 to the power 2 into 2 that is 4. So, 10 to the power 4 into 1 to the power minus 2 means what? That is 1 only, right? Because 1 to the power minus 2 means what? 1 by 1 square. That is equal to 1 only. So, we can write here what? n2 is equal to 10 to the power 7. Now, let us discuss this formula here. 1 joule is equal to dash erg. Erg means what? The new unit. That is in gram, centimeter and second. So, what is the answer here? 10 to the power 7 erg. So, this is the answer for converting 1 joule to erg. Now, let us move to another example. Convert 1 newton into dyne. Convert 1 newton into dyne. So, you must know newton is the SI unit. Dyne is the CGS unit. And as you already know, in SI unit, mass is in kilogram, CGS unit it is gram, length is in meter, and here it is in centimeter, second, here also it become what? Second. So, once again, use the formula here, N2 is equal to N1. Here, what is N1? That is 1 only, right? Because you are converting 1 Newton to dyne. So, 1 into, now, formula, m1 by m2 to the power a, l1 by l2 to the power b and t1 by t2 to the power c. So, what is abc here? 1 newton. Newton, we use to represent what? The dimension. m, l, t to the power minus 2. That is the force actually. Unit of force is newton. So, force dimension is what? m, l, t to the power minus 2. So, here m to the power a, a equal to what? 1, b is equal to what? 1 and c is equal to what? Minus 2. So, you can substitute here n2 is equal to 1 into, now m1 in the first system of unit, the unit is kilogram. So, 10 to the power 3 gram divided by, in new system of unit, the mass is in gram. So, gram all to the power a is equal to what? 1. Next one, length is it what? Meter, should be converted into what? Centimeter. So, 10 to the power 2 centimeter divided by centimeter all to the power b, b also equal to what? 1, correct. Into time is equal to what? In second only, so 1 second and here also 1 second all to the power what? Minus 2. Look at this case here. So, you can write the answer as n2 is equal to 1 into then 1 only. So, here we can write 10 to the power 3 all to the power 1, 10 to the power 2 all to the power 1 and 1 all to the power minus 2. So, 10 to the power 3 power 1, 3 into 1, 3 only that is 10 to the power 3 into 10 to the power 2 into 1 that is 10 to the power 2 into 1 to the power minus 2 means what? 1 by 1 square which is equal to 1 only. So, what is the answer? N2 is equal to 10 to the power of 5. So, the answer here 1 Newton is equal to what is N2 now here 10 to the power of 5, 10 to the power 5 dyne. So, this is the way to convert one system of unit into another system of unit.